Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session we are going to learn about the instruction type DADRP. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the topic that we are going to cover in this session, today we are going to learn about the instruction type DADRP. Now the instruction type DADRP here the mnemonic DAD stands for double add register pair with HL pair. So we are talking about all the register pairs B, C, D, E and H, L. So what I am trying to mean in here, if we want to add two 16-bit numbers, one of the operands of 16 bits can stay in any of these register pairs. However, another operand must reside inside the HL register pair. And by the end of the addition, the result will also be stored within the HL register pair itself. Interesting fact, since we are performing addition, no flag except the carry flag is affected depending on the result. Remember, only the carry flag is affected and the reason for that is we are performing addition. However, except CY flag or the carry flag, none of the other flags within the flags register are going to be affected. Now coming to the instruction type DADRP, this instruction falls under the category of one byte long instructions. Now let me show you the different instructions of this particular type. Well the instructions are DADB, DADD and DADH. Interestingly within the mnemonic itself, Although the letter X isn't mentioned, but still we are talking about the register pairs. And as you can notice, only the names of the first registers are mentioned. So clearly, for these instructions as well, the latter part is considered to be the extension of the former part. Now the question is, why we are calling it double add? If you think about it, Previously, whenever we have performed addition, we made use of the accumulator. Now, the accumulator register can only store 8 bits. So, previously, whenever we have performed addition, those were 8 bit additions. Now, if we term the 8 bit additions as single addition, now we are talking about 16 bit additions. So, that's why it is named as double add. In other words, Adding 8 bits with 8 bits, this is single addition. Thereafter, adding these 8 bits, that is the least significant 8 bits with the least significant 8 bits, is the double addition. So that's why the name double add. Now, let me remind you, we already have seen how these instructions perform. In the previous chapter, when we were learning about the GPRs and the accumulator, we perform the addition of these two hexadecimal numbers of four digits. Now, four digit hexadecimal numbers are also 16 bit numbers in binary. If you notice carefully, in order to perform this addition, we loaded the value 1234 within the HL register pair. That's our first operand, by the way. Coming to the next operand, that is 5678, this 16 bit data was loaded within the BC register pair. Well, let me tell you, these are hexadecimal numbers, right? And we can get the notion of that from this letter H. Now, if the addition is performed, 4 plus 8 is supposed to give us 12, which in case of hexadecimal is C. Then again, 3 plus 7 is 10 in decimal, which in hexadecimal is A. 2 plus 6 is 8 in both decimal and hexadecimal. And 1 plus 5 will give us 6. Now, the execution of the instruction DADB, as we have seen earlier, will change the contents within the HL register pair. That is, after the addition has been performed, the result is also going to be stored within the HL register pair itself. So, for instructions like double add, the HL register pair works similarly like the accumulator. If you remember, Whenever we have performed any operation, and if one of the operands is within the accumulator register, after the operation has been performed, the result is supposed to be loaded within the accumulator register itself. Something like that is also happening in this particular case. 
Now I have got a question for you. Say within the HL register pair, we have loaded the value 1, 2, 3, 4. Now can you tell me, what will be the result if we execute the instruction DADH? Feel free to write down your answers within the comment section. So that is all about the DAD register pair. Do remember here the mnemonic DAD stands for double add register pair with HL register pair. So it's pretty evident from this that one of the 16-bit operand has to be within the HL register pair. Additionally, the instructions of this particular type fall under the category of one byte long instructions. So in this session, we learned about the instruction type DADRP. Remember, there are three different instructions of this particular type DADB, DADD, and DADH. Alright, people, that will be all for this session. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to learn about another arithmetic group of instruction. So I hope to see you in the next ones. Thank you all for watching.